I hope we've got here is a 2015 Q3. Uh, the customer complaint is the wipers aren't working. So we'll first of all, we'll confirm the customer complaint. See, ignition's on. I've got the bonnet catches latched. So it thinks the bonnet's closed. Ignition's on, put the wipers on. As you can see, nothing happening. So customer complaint confirmed. Scanned the vehicle for faults and we found in the in the body control module we've got this fault here which is windshield white or motor driver side v216 no signal no communication um, so next thing to do is we'll consult a wiring diagram and we'll see how the system is laid out here's the wiring diagram for the vehicle this is the white motor here As you can see we have a ground coming in from the bottom we have power coming from the fuse box from uh, fuse 17 or 21 it says on here and then we have a third wire which is this purple and white wire which also goes to this component here which is the windshield rain detector um, that wire there is going to be the communication line so first thing we'll do is we'll check that we have got actually powers and grounds to the unit uh, before we go any further so as you can see this vehicle has been to another garage and they've fitted a white motor to this vehicle brand new white motor fitted genuine audi one Let's see where they've see the badge there that wouldn't have been cheap and there's the connector there the three wires got a red and brown a brown and a purple and white so red and brown is going to be with power so we'll just stick a test lamp on that and as you can see, we've got power. Now I'm going to swap the test lamp onto um, the tail of the test lamp onto battery voltage to check the ground. And I'm on the ground now, and once again, it's lighting the test lamp, so I'm happy that we've got a ground to this unit. So the next next thing is to check the communication line. To do that, we need to use an oscilloscope. Now I've got the oscilloscope connected up to the communication line. I'll put you on at the screen of the scope. And as you can see, the voltage is sitting high here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to unplug the plug from the wire motor to see if that voltage has been induced by the wire motor or by the wire itself. So reach in, pull that plug off. We have zero volts on that. That tells me that the problem lies towards wherever the signal is coming from rather than the motor itself so again back to the wiring diagram back on the wiring diagram here like i said before this is the wire motor here this is the communication line and it goes up to this comp control unit here which is the body control unit so it goes on to a plug which is on here the middle plug here and it goes to pin 33 on that plug. Body control unit is under the dashboard above the fuse box. So let's go to the body control unit and check to see what the signal is like there. So that's the body control unit there. That's the plugs on the back. So you can see I've already got a pin in there. So I'm just going to connect the oscilloscope lead up onto that pin. There. Ignition still on, and there's our LIN signal. So the signal has been transmitted by the body control unit, which is the LIN master, where it's not been received by the wire motor, which is the LIN slave. We've still got the wire motor on plugged here, so let's plug it in. Quickly just plug that back in, see if it has any effect on the signal. That's now plugged in. And as you can see, it's having no effect on the signal being transmitted by the body control unit. So it's looking like a possible broken wire. Next step, we'll bypass the wiring and see if we can get these wipers to work. So using a simple multimeter lead, we're plugged in 
to that pin on the body control module. I'm now going to go plug it into the pin on the wiper control. So basically bypassing the vehicle's wiring. Let's see if the wipers are working. We'll switch the wipers on. There we go. We have wipers. Conclusive diagnosis. The problem with this vehicle was not a faulty wiper motor. As a previous garage has thought it was, it's actually a broken wire between the body control module and the wiper motor. So now to find the brake. Right, so the easiest way to find a brake in a circuit is you basically got to try and split the circuit in half. So this is the wiring that comes out of the main harness here, which goes to the wiper motor. What I've done is I've stripped a bit of insulation off there and I've exposed that wire. So what I'm going to have to do is what's called side probe that wire. Which basically is a little tiny pin prick in the wire. Wind that on, it pushes the pin into the wire. And then take a look at the scope and see if we've got a signal. Still no signal. So what that's telling me there is the fault, the break in the wire is in that direction there. So we've got the main wiring harness, as you can see, run under the engine ECU. This is it here. So we'll find another point where we can access this harness. So sometimes the easiest way to find the broken wire is grab it and pull it. That doesn't want to come out. It looks like I'm going to have to strip this harness. So I'm going to have to strip all of the insulation off this harness and find this break in this wire. And there we are. You can see that? Green crusties. Right, there we are, all back together, plugged in, oscilloscope back program the in wire at the wire motor, and there's my in signal actually at the wire motor. So that's fixed. Um, I don't know what to say here. Somebody's changed the wire motor based on a fault code. I keep saying this all the time, I won't change parts based on fault codes, I'll always test them and test the control unit to them. Sorry, the control circuit to them. This one's proved it was a control circuit error. Fix the fault. Wipers are working. It would have been a no parts fix. If it had come to me first, it would have just been a wire and repair. So the, 